Just letting you guys know ahead of time, I'm not going to be using the stabilizer, so the wheels are going to be kind of shaky. But it's because whenever I do stuff to the truck myself, I don't like to be... Uh, <clears throat> because when I use the stabilizer, I have to take off the phone case, and I already broke it once, the screen, and I had to waste 400 bucks to fix it. In today's video, we're going to be... I already decided what I'm going to do with the front. I'm going to... Since the bed's already black, I'm going to swap out the whole front. I'm going to swap out the fenders, the hood. So I'm going to have it all. I'm going to have the whole front black. And then once I find somebody to to uh, wire up the electric doors, I'll swap, I'll swap out the doors. So like I said earlier and like two videos ago, I'll only have to paint for the cab. So right now, I already took off the front on that one. But there might be some of you guys that might want to swap out. So generally also, I still haven't taken this one out. So I'm going to show you guys how to take it off. It's actually not that hard. But there's some of you that would want to see it. So I'll show you guys how I took it off. But for right now, I'm, I'm only going to worry about the... I'm only going to worry about the hood, the grill, and the bumper. I'll worry about the fenders later because I work later. And I kind of want to be lazy before I work. <laughs> I bought a tool set. I've been needing this for a while. So this basically has everything that I need. All the sizes. I'm pretty sure even has for the spark plugs, even has for the, that's for everything. So I got it for $117, uh, basically $118 after taxes. So I'm good here on the tools. But the, the first thing you're gonna do, this is the easy stuff right here. If, if you guys have this cover, just take off whatever clips you have, just take them off, pop this thing out, and that's it. Even has a fogs, so I'll worry about that later. The second part, mine's broken, my grill, so. But what you want to do first is you want to remove the lights. So you guys already, if you guys should already know, just bend this and pop them off on both sides, just like that. Make sure you put them somewhere where you don't lose them, because you're gonna be crying about it if you can't find them. This one has a freaking. I need to get the new headlights because this one has a the housing broken. Once you have the lights off, uh, I'm gonna swap out the. The GMC badge on this one because that one's not black on the truck but uh I'm probably not even gonna use this anymore it's trash to me but like once you try to take it off there's these little clips here you just push the bottom of the clip and you push it out and then you find something else to push the top and it'll pop right out but since mine's broken don't really matter but here's also clips right here you just pop them out that's it just be careful you don't want to mess up something. But remember, there's clips up here and there's clips down here. Make sure you unclip them first because if you break this, well, you're not going to like it. <laughs> it's not going to be very fun. So once you've got that part off for the bumper, it's four bolts. This one doesn't have it because this bolt is shit. I mean, this bumper is crap, but gonna be four bolts you need to worry about it's be one here it should be one here and then down here and then also down there and once you have that off you don't need to worry about the brackets there's some bracket down here Let me see if I can find it that bracket right there you just need to remove that and it'll come off and that's it for the bumper so like let me get this off real quick so I already got it off the only reason why this one would sag on one side was because the it. support was broken on this one. And this one only has one. So we're gonna steal that one and put it on this one. And we can probably adjust it to sit very, very firm in it, very tuck. Except this one doesn't doesn't have the little mini grill. So we're gonna be taking this one with us. This one right here. Let me let me get everything squared out right away. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a clip. But like I said, you guys just need to take off the two there the two there and then the little bracket things and you got the bumper off <laughs> look at the way it's sitting poor truck <laughs> so freaking started raining just when i was getting down to business man dude it sucks right when i took off the freaking uh the little clip the bumper the, the old bumper had it just started pouring down like crazy Man, now I have to wait for it to stop raining. I'll see you guys maybe in like 30 minutes or so. We'll see when the rain stops. But I really need to get this front put on ASAP because once I have everything black and just have the cap gray, I'm telling you, I'm telling you it's still gonna look pretty sick. 
water stopped but the trees still have a lot of water in them and they decide to throw let me see no yeah it already stopped it was just like a little uh yesterday i went to the track also it was just like little drizzles over here and there but nothing serious so let me put on the bracket so we can get the bumper on i'm so excited here it is this is what i was talking about the little plastic Hopefully the supports aren't broken on this one because they might not be able to hold it, but we'll see right now. Let me just uh, square everything out. There's the gap. So right now we're going to put the four bolts into place, not all the way down, but just to keep it where it's supposed to be. And then we're going to adjust the brackets down there so we can lift it up, hopefully get the gap to be gone for good. But yeah, we'll get in there. <laughs> we'll see what's up. What do you guys think? I already got it on. I eliminated the gap as much as I could. I could have gone higher, but I don't. I don't really want it to be that high because then it won't really match with the line of the of the fender to the bumper. But besides that, and even as a fog, that doesn't need to find a way to connect them. But uh, for now, it's just gonna be for show. But uh, right now, we're gonna put on this girl over here. I wanted a Texas one, but uh, we'll use this one for now. Let me just get everything there but it looks freaking good we're gonna zip tie the license plate <laughs> so i can i'm gonna put this away real quick so we can put the head down we already got the bumper on and the grill on it actually looks really good how about the you want to put the hood down <laughs> drop it all the way yeah look at that even the the freaking wheel i mean the the wheel gap the light gap is good now because the other grill wasn't was broken so it wouldn't like stay on right so it would be a really nasty gap even though it was because of the house you know the lights sorry but look see the freaking gap's gone just need to wipe this down also put it dirty but right now we're gonna swap out the hood we're gonna swap out the hood and then we're probably gonna swap out these and then when I, well, like I said, once I find somebody that can do the, the wiring, we'll swap out the doors so we can have the freaking electric. So right now we're going to get the hood out on that one. Yeah, I know a lot of people aren't going to like it because I'm taking it apart, but the whole point was to use it for parts. And I want to make sure I use it for parts because I put my, I paid a good amount of money for it. So I'm going to use everything. <laughs> But yeah, let's get the hood out first. I'm sorry I'm not showing you guys everything. Like I said, whenever I work on stuff like this, I wanna, I don't have time to like be recording back and forth, but I already showed you how to take off the bumper and the grill, the hood, the hood, I mean, the hood's freaking easy, man. Just take out the three bolts that are right there. So I already took out one side. Well, he's gonna move, he's gonna back up the truck a little bit so that uh, we can take off the hood and not have to jump, you know, jump it over that. <clears throat> but I think the front looks, uh, more compact if that makes sense it looks more firm because the bumper's picked up watch you, you just, i don't know if you guys see how it looks more like everything looks more firm if that makes sense it's not all saggy and stuff so yeah this doesn't look freaking sick guys it's gonna look freaking sick i feel bad for this one it was so beautiful but i mean hey man Gotta keep, gotta keep the channel going, you know. Poor truck. Sí, I heard. Posita yo viendo esto te descontrolas bien rápido. Let's get this one off real quick. We're on to the final piece before we take it inside already, because I don't want to get sick, like I said. But look at that. It's gonna look freaking clean once it's all black. Real clean. We got the the hood in. I'll show you guys in a bit. It looks freaking clean. I'm gonna go inside already. I don't wanna get sick. Oh, also, I'm gonna pour the uh, ported throttle body and the intake and NBS. I swapped out. I swapped out some other stuff on the inside. Oh, I thought I'm gonna move front, but what do you guys think about the front? Look at that. Man, it's gonna look sick when I get the doors and the fenders. We're gonna be playing. A roll pan into my truck. I mean, I'm gonna get a paint anyways. Doesn't matter with the condition, right? 
but because I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look like like the whole truck has all its parts, even if they're not all the same, you know. So here it is. It's actually an SS roll pan, I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's missing the plastics that go right there. I mean, it's not in the best condition. It's all right. I mean, it doesn't bother me. All I need to do is scrub it down because it actually still has shiny, shiny in it. I just need to scrub it down real good, like you see. So we're gonna get this put on. We're gonna, it's pretty nasty condition, but it's kind of round. It should fit the way my truck's supposed to look. So I actually traded a, a, a friend of mine, I traded him the bumper. I, mean, I was gonna sell it anyways, but you know what? I needed a roll pan. I didn't really care, so I, <laughs> like he took the the bumper and he gave me his roll pan. He's gonna, he's gonna give me his wing later because whenever I sell this, it's for sale, guys, just in case you guys are wondering, I'm asking 650 for it or best offer. <laughs> I know it looks funny, but it still looks pretty clean. When I sell this, it's gonna come with a tow gate, so I'm gonna keep that one on. But I did put it on just for now because I wanted to have the look of a wing, you know. But right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off a tow gate, I'm gonna find where to drill the holes, and then I'm gonna put it on. I just gotta put it into place. That's where I'm gonna keep it for now. I'm gonna bolt, I'm gonna bolt it on there. It's not gonna, it doesn't fit perfect also because it's just cracked. It was lower, but it's supposed to be around right here. It doesn't fit perfect because it was molded on the other one, but it cracked off. So it's not gonna be perfect, but I mean, it's it's fine because this is temporary and plus, not to sound like a dick. It'll be the painter's problem to get that fixed right. It's not mine, but for now I'm gonna keep it like that and that should look pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. I'll just, once I get it bolted on, I'll, I'll wipe it down, get it to look pretty clean. Then I'll see you guys in a bit. So that was actually, I forgot that was actually, uh, this bed had another light right here. And it had, it had those, it had those pieces of metal that you can screw stuff into them and it would stay there. So I remembered that that was there, so I got them. I just drilled the holes on this. I think it's fiberglass, so it makes it real easy to drill through it. I just put it straight into those things so I don't have to put it on the other side because it already locks up on its own. So, actually in place. I just need to find a way to tie them so they don't, it don't wiggle like that down there if I go too fast. I don't want it to wiggle so I'm going to find a way to tie them on the sides. So I can stay into place. But like I said, this is just for the meanwhile so it doesn't look like it's naked on the back. And then once I get it to go in and paint it, you know, the guy will deal with what he has to do. Since it was, like I said, it was molded on, some parts are sticking out more than they should. All he needs to do is just grind them back down. As you can see, the original line was right there, but when it broke off, it took some extra. I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't want to mess with it too much. So I don't want to over break it and then I can't put it on, you know? So, just to stay on, let me find out how to tie it down. There, I finally got it. Look at that. Man, I still need to scrub it down. Wait, I'll show you guys after I clean it, but uh, <clears throat> I had to do like a little, like I was just so it wouldn't like wiggle. So this side, it won't wiggle because it's like compressed pretty good. I already tried moving it with my, with my force. That's pretty solid. That one, I had to drill a little hole from the bed to the roll pan. Like I said, the, the painter's gonna fix it anyways. You can't see anyways. I drill a little hole from this to the other one and then I put a little metal wire tight so it doesn't, it wiggles, but it won't really wiggle. And plus these, these are pretty set in place, so. I mean, I'm still gonna ride it around town. Ride it up to 70, 80, and I'll see how it ends up afterwards. But let me just scrub it down real quick and I'll show you guys with the tailgate put on. Let me turn the light so you guys can see it. But I'm pretty happy with the way it is, you know. Freaking junkyard jales or whatever you want to call it. Frog boys jales, I don't know. Oh, fuck. Well, we're going to have another problem here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>